Welcome back to AT&T Park, home of the San Francisco Giants, the reigning 2010 World Series champions. The team is ramping up to defend its title and keep up the pace of those record-setting ticket sales. We're joined by the team's president and co-COO, Larry Bear. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Margaret. Good to be here. Welcome to our home. <laughs> well, the, the sun is up, <laughs> and I know uh, there's a lot of excitement about uh, being out here. The series is beginning, what, March the 23rd, oh, the season begins. Right, March 31st, actually, and then opening day here is April 8th and there's something about opening day in baseball that it's kind of renewal it's spring it's the rights of of uh, summer begin spring and summer and uh, for a baseball team that is coming off a world Cha world series championship it's actually the first time that the fans will be able to see the team in total here mm -hmm. in San Francisco since uh, clinching the world series in Texas back in November and I understand you sold what 6,000 more season tickets this year than you did last yeah it's been incredible obviously the world series championship had a, gave us a surge of momentum. And so it's going to be, you know, from, from a business standpoint, winning is important. Also having the right ballpark and the right image, it's kind of all has to come together. Where is the buying coming from? Are those, once again, you're seeing businesses come back, take out their clients, or are these consumers, the diehard fans? You know what? I think it's a, the business is a component of it, but it's really the fans. And what they do is we sell 84 games, 83 games, season ticket package, and people share. People that form syndicates, and I'll go in with my neighbor and we'll each do 20 games because you know over 80 home games that's a lot of games so what happens is people share with others we also dynamically price the tickets if you buy them to individual games okay so that buying a season ticket package actually if you can use the tickets is economically better mm -hmm. for, for you than if you're going to buy individually because then you're into dynamically priced tickets and for big games ticket prices can go pretty high what's going to be different about the experience here at the park this year i think there's a the, the well there's climate, a buzz and, and there's momentum. a like there's a buzz in electricity. I mean, in sports, you become bonded with players if you're a fan. And there's a passion. And we had some players that became pretty well-known and mm -hmm. pretty well-loved. Buster Posey, our Rookie of the Year catcher. Uh, Brian Wilson, Fear the Beard. <laughs> Big Beard, who was our, our closer. And we had, uh, you know, Tim Lidsicum, obviously, who is uh, who is a uh, two-time Cy Young Award winner, was the most valuable player of the postseason. Matt Cain. So fans in the Panda, Pablo Sandoval, who's now lost right. 34, 34 pounds so he's less of a panda than he was <laughs> so we have we have and the fans almost picked their favorite guy and, and the, the, the franchise opportunities the opportunities to expand the business come along with that they really do and what happens is you work with sponsors AT&T is our naming rights partner here they're in the news today and they look to expand their relationship with us and so sponsorships television deals we have a new television deal that's uh, where we are part owner of our regional sports network which is a big deal for us so all of that comes with the momentum of winning, but not just winning, but I think it's just the, the brand itself. Mm -hmm. And this ballpark has functioned well on the water. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're about 95% capacity on average for 11 years. All right. Well, good luck to you, Thank you as the season begins. Thanks Thank very you. much, Larry.